Hello again. Uh, today I want to try doing another colander pour. Okay, well I used my scraper and scraped a good portion of the paint off. There's still a decent layer on there but I'm going to see if doing a chain pour now will work better with the um, thinner layer of paint and I am not going to wear my gloves this time I'm just going to uh, use the chain and the cloth that I've got and feel my way through doing it I'm finding the gloves are a bit of a hindrance when it actually comes to touching the chain and I also feel now it would probably be a good idea for me at some stage to invest in some thicker chain if I want to try this kind of um, chain pull. So I am going to soak these pieces of chain in the paint. Not too bothered if the colours mix in a little as I do love the pink as I've said so I'm going to try and do something with this now. I'll try further down here now I think and all right get my tweezers and pull uh, yes I think that probably does do a better job with less paint on it that is far better than my first attempt and uh, looking good and I'm not too worried about as I said I'm not too worried about how I mix the paint in whether it comes out pink white red or all three of them mixed <laughs> together and uh, I definitely have I feel I have better control of the chain if I don't have my gloves on so I will now try that again And just dip it in the paint, get it nice and saturated and try that from here. And pull down. Yes. I'm finally getting something that looks a little bit better. Oh, I'm so pleased. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to go away for a little while and find some more of this chain. I'm sure that somewhere in one of my closets I have got a longer piece of this chain because I would like to do another pull down through the centre with a longer piece of it. Okay, I have found a bigger piece of chain and I am going to run it through the paint I've got here. Actually, I might just add some more paint to this now that I'm starting to get something happening. Okay. My long, long, longer piece of chain. <sighs> I'll drop it in one side, down the other, round and back along. Okay, give it a nice dip in the paint. And pick it up. Now this being a long piece of course, I don't know how well I will get it to the canvas uh, without it dripping everywhere, but I will do my best. Okay, try and hold it as straight as possible and start up here and come round with it. Okay, and pull. It 
still a little more green than I would like, but definitely an improvement on what I have already had. Very pleased with that. I'm going to do a smaller piece at the bottom just to finish it off. So I might just actually leave that to soak in there for a little while, I think, while I get my little piece. <coughs> and dip it. Excuse me, please. Getting over a winter cold. It is school holidays here in New Zealand at the moment, and sadly, a lot of the children have picked up the bugs and spreading them around. And uh, quite a few people I know have had head colds or chest colds here in the last few weeks. Right, so I will fish my piece of chain out now and finish off the base. Which I will just curl around that way and bring it down like so. I think I might do the same with this piece further up towards the top there because that came out really nicely and I'm very very happy with what I'm getting so far. I had a feeling that I had far too much paint in my previous attempts on the actual canvas and so now I know to just layer the paint very lightly on the canvas so that the uh, chain doesn't just get bogged down in the base paint. So I will try this again. Up the top here. Right, a little bit more there. Okay, get my tweezers and dig the chain out. Okay, around here. Yes, a little bit disappointed that I actually got the little green over the edge there. I wonder if I can just repair that with a little bit of red on the tip of a chain. I might just be able to repair that by popping that across there and pulling down. Okay, and try that again. Across there. Actually, I might just hold that end carefully, bunch it in my fingers. I hope my head's not in the way there too much. I'm sorry if it is. Pop that chain down like so and pull down. That's better. It's not perfect, but it looks better. I need to actually get it to pull on the chain properly. So I will fix that up again just by popping the chain straight on it with no paint. Oops, so I better be careful, I'm splashing water everywhere here. Right, is that all my pieces? No, my little one. And I'm going to go and change my water again. It gets dirty very, very quickly. So I will just get the little piece of uh, chain and run it through and see if I can actually just pop it in there and pull it down over that paint. No, that did not work. I was hoping it would. So I will re it in some paint to get it to do a little colouring downwards like so. 
again not perfect but try that once more no if I keep fiddling with it I'm afraid that I'm just going to end up completely ruining it um, so I might just have to go over that whole petal with red and white to get some definition going there again and bring it down that's better that's not perfect but it's much better than what it was so I just have to slide it to one side I'm going to try that again and the petal straight underneath sorry in the or oh, can't do that too often in the blank space straight underneath the petal I've just done here I'm going to try and do that again because I've discovered something else new that if I just move one side of the chain instead of both I have a better chance of getting the petal to come out the actual paint flower petal to come out so I will try that oh I knew that was going to happen oh well so pop that down like so and then just pull one side lovely just lovely oh I'm so excited about getting the hang of this I've been watching a lot of other artists on the um, YouTube channels doing their little bits and pieces with their chain pulls and string pulls and I've tried and been so disappointed because mine have looked nothing like what I see these artists doing so right now I am going to get the chain ready to put on the petal that I dribbled the paint onto and bring it down again like so wow wow so pleased that is just coming out exactly how I wanted so now I think I'm learning how to do this I am going to keep going with the um, smaller of the flowers and I'll take a wee break from talking to you about it pop some music onto the video when I put it through and uh, catch up with you soon